Hi everyone, it's Christine and I'm back with another video of me working in my quarter journal. So I am still catching up on pages. Um, this is a spread I'm working on from late Feb. Hmm, let's see, I think it was late Feb to early March. So um, as always, I had my pictures pre-printed and I usually just um, save it for when I'm working on the layout and that's when I kind of figure out um, what goes where. So this week was different. Um, I had more ephemera and little bits of pieces that I saved. Um, this one that I'm putting down is actually um, a label of cheese that I had at this wine place near my near um, near our house. And they, so we were going for wine tasting and they served this really good cheese. And um, ever since I had it there, I've been looking for it in stores to no avail up until like I saw it one day at a local grocery and I snapped it right up. And it looks like, cause it looks like it's been sold out for a while. So I was, I don't know, it was a big enough deal for me to like save the label and put it in my scrapbook. Um, this week was also fun because we went to a, um, a collaboration dinner um, at Abaka, which is this not not super new anymore, but this kind of fancy Filipino restaurant in San Francisco. And um, it was a collaboration between um, a Filipino chef from Chicago or no, DC. Okay, I don't remember. But the menu was different and um it was kind of like a special event so i did not have any nice photos from that night so the the pictures that i have in my scrapbook i actually grabbed from their instagram so those two pictures um one of like those they look like ice cream cones and that with all the like the crab yum um, but I grabbed that from their Instagram and I printed out uh, a picture of the menu that they also posted on Instagram. Um, that pattern card is a business card that I snagged from the restaurant. So um, I guess, yeah, one way if you don't have pictures from the actual thing is to grab them from the internet. Um, the good thing is like... I don't know, I grabbed these from Instagram and they were still pretty high resolution enough to have them printed um, along with the rest of my photos, which was great. So here I'm just figuring out how to stick the business card. Um, I put a number one there because that event was on March 1st. So other photos that I have on this spread, um, some funky nails that I had that week. Um, those were um, these like patterned nail strip um, stickers that you, you stick them on your nails and then you cure them with a UV lamp. That was fun. Um, I also have a picture of my the current planner that I'm using that I filled with stickers. So I just collected stickers throughout the, the weeks and um, a lot of the stickers on my current planner are from Tina of Life Love Paper. Um, I'm part of her Patreon. It's really, it's really fun because um, she sends out printables and she recently did like a past, uh, past kit, uh, past like Happy Mail sale, and I snagged a lot of stickers from there, which was great. Um, other things from this week, uh, dinner with my cousin Chester, which is always great. Um, you'll see him a lot in my scrapbook because he's one of our favorite food buddies. And also a little meta, but I have a picture on the bottom right uh, uh, bottom right page of uh, my scrapbook table. Oh, speaking of, if you noticed anything different in this video, I am trying out working on a white surface instead of like... Um, just my desk, which is like the wood. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. I f I feel like it's a lot cleaner. Um, hopefully, well, I did make sure to like clean the rest of my table because I always have, you know, all the stamps kind of stashed nearby. All the, um, the inks are all out. So I was thinking to keep, keep the surface a little um, cleaner as I'm like working on my scrapbook. So a lot of 
a lot of the stamps and stickers I have like off screen. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of that if the videos are easier to watch and it's easier to see the process with that. Um, it's like less distracting too. So <laughs> yeah. So as always, after I stick all my photos down, I try to add um, little stamped accents. But I think for the spread, I went more with stickers instead of stamps. Um, uh, there wasn't really that much space to um, really play with stamps a lot on this on this spread. Um, but one thing also that I am bringing am bringing back from um, from my old. I, I should say spreads is the saving one quarter for my journaling. I noticed uh, the past few weeks I've just been like so happy to like fill in all the boxes with photos or stamps or whatever. And I realized like, oh, I haven't been doing the the um, kind of list format of journaling that kind of summarizes what I did that week or those two weeks or whatever. So um, that's what I brought back in this spread to kind of balance out like the real heavy like bigger images and i wanted to add some kind of breathing room with one quarter for journaling then once all the stickers are stuck st stickers are stuck time to fill in the spaces with journaling so um, right now, I'm just filling up the little spaces with what those photos are about, what what those, um, I guess, like with this, what the dinner was about and like fun anecdotes and stuff. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just filling in the rest of my journaling here. Um, and yeah, I am I hope you enjoyed seeing this page come together. And um, as always, I will keep doing this. I'm still really enjoying this project. And yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you think of the new background. And um, I will see you in the next video.